The scandal surrounding former Michigan House Speaker Lee Chatfield is pushed back into the spotlight in Lansing. Good to have you with us tonight at 6. Democrats in Lansing asking why there's been no legislative action regarding the once high-ranking Republican. Chatfield is now working in the private sector but remains under investigation by Michigan State Police. Chatfield has admitted to having an affair with his sister-in-law but denies her claim that he sexually assaulted her. MSP also looking into how Chatfield spent state and campaign money. No charges have been filed yet on either front. Well, now the House Dems say it's time for a new probe to get to the bottom of any wrongdoing. Local 4's Rod Maloney is live tonight with the story. Rod, good evening. Yeah. Yeah, good evening. You know, they're looking for a special investigative panel, a blue ribbon panel, if you will, looking to look into Lee Chatfield's activities to find out whether if, in fact, there is any problem here. But Detroit Representative Tyrone Carter wants something more. He wants to look at ethics as an entire package within the legislature. From where we stand, this should be an easy decision, at least for any member of the legislature with nothing to hide. Lee Chatfield is long past his days in power, but his expired tenure now tinged with allegations of wrongdoing. Democrats like Detroit State Representative Joe Tate wonder about dark campaign money, PAC cash, and even state tax dollars improperly mishandled. What is alleged is nothing short of a web of corruption. We have a responsibility to untangle that web and to bring into the daylight what has been orchestrated in the darkness. Democrats invoke the circumstances, but not the names of representatives Todd Corser and Cindy Gamrat. Corser resigned from the legislature, Gamrat expelled after having an affair, and the bizarre office politics surrounding the aftermath created headlines for months. The circumstance is different, but Democrats want their Republican colleagues to use the same investigative tools on Chatfield's conduct. There may be nothing to this, and that would bode well for the former speaker, but to do nothing is not acceptable. Still, House Speaker Jason Wentworth's office put out this statement this afternoon, quote, the police and the attorney general are looking into what happened. The House is staying focused on cooperating with the Michigan State Police and the Lansing Police Department, assisting with their investigation and getting them whatever they need. Partisan press releases won't change that, end quote. Now, there have been calls for these kinds of investigations for years in Lansing and outside of the Corsair Gamrat situation. There really hasn't been much of any, and it doesn't look like at this point there's going to be any this time either. Back to you. Rod, I suppose some would wonder why Democrats don't just do the investigation on their own. Well, you know, that's the rules in Lansing, and it's the power, the majority uh, power, you know, majority party in power that gets to have subpoena power and go and do these kinds of investigations. Yeah. So unless it's bipartisan, they can't they, get anything they can't. accomplished here. Exactly. Yeah. All right, Rod.